What's up guys, this is your boy Infamous Trainer and today we're diving into another regional showcase video. As today we're going to explore the Pangu region which is inspired by mainland China as well as reference Chinese and Eastern Asian culture. And this region goes by the title name of Pokemon Dynasty. Let me tell you guys, I'm super excited to dive into this because we do not have a Chinese inspired region as most Pokemon regions are inspired by Japan or Japanese culture. I'm excited to see what a Chinese inspired region will be like, so hopefully you guys are also excited. Now on that note, make sure you guys do leave a like on the video, share the video out and hit the subscribe button because tons of you guys love these videos and I want to continue making more so I want to hear your feedback and I'm still on the search for a great India region. But if you guys are ready, let's dive in. Also, really quick, this region actually introduces a brand new typing to the world of Pokemon, being the Mystic Typing, and this is all of its offensive and defensive information so you guys can know what it affects, what it doesn't, and I'm actually excited to see how the Mystic Typing really plays a part into the world of Pokemon because tons of people want new typings like Sound, Light, and many others, but Mystic I have not heard, and it sounds pretty dope. But let's start off by looking at the starter Pokemon. Alright, like any other regional showcase, we have to start with the starter Pokemon because, well, they start the region off and we have the grass type Pokemon cattle. It's adorable. I like the leaves. I like it just growing on his body. It's it's cute. It's adorable. It's like a little ox kind of bull type of thing going on. It looks super adorable as it actually is going to go ahead and evolve into Gruffalo. Gruffalo also looks pretty dang cute. I can see this thing becoming a grass and fighting type because I know there is a new typing in this world but I don't know if they're going to do it for the starters but it looks adorable I actually really like the design of this really with the big buffalo horns is actually really awesome as we go into a Pokemon that I can't see the full name of but this one is the new typing grass and mystic and this thing looks like a brute it looks like a strong brute Pokemon I love like the design with the grass and the vines and the horns that looks amazing actually i like this a lot this pokemon is going to be called agrahorn and that is the shiny Ooh, the kind of like the gold leaves that is something you do not see because even for my starter i went more for like the autumn fall colors which most starters go by so i like the shiny of this pokemon agrahorn that that's pretty that's pretty tough next up we have a charful and little horse i like it it's adorable i think horses are a pretty big staple in chinese culture so that's really awesome and it plays into the zodiac sign as well as it evolves into a uh, charcoal I like it. I like it a lot. I can see as it runs, it leaves like fire imprints in the ground, right? With its hooves. Incredible. And I'm guessing this is also going to be the new Titan for the final evolution. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It has like the, um, the patterns of like a, a Chinese dragon, like those, uh, you know, God, I forget what they're called exactly, but like the ones they use in parades and events. This looks phenomenal. This is phenomenal, especially being a fire horse Pokemon because you can only get so creative. But this, this right here is incredible. Also being introduced into the Mystic typing as well. And it's called a, a Busleon and Busleon looks amazing. The dragon horse Pokemon. I'm hoping this thing learns some cool dragon moves and the shiny perfection 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 you can never go wrong with the white or like black or gray shiny that's just, it's, it's just something you can't mess up so phenomenal i love it and then last but not least that leaves the water starter as we have ourselves skink and this thing's super cute i can see it like riding on his tail dude now i'm not the biggest fan of water pokemon for those who do not know but this pokemon is adorable having the little water you know snake thing going on as it actually evolved into azalong azalong looks yeah yeah i, I can see this also being a dragon which is kind of crazy because you can see the fire type being a dragon but this this looks like a dragon for sure as it is whoa whoa this thing i could see this also being somehow connected to like uh kingdra cedra horsey also being a mystic typing okay and the full name of this pokemon is gonna be nagara uh i hope that's the right nagara and it looks incredible definitely a special attacker i love the shiny the shiny looks great the colors are fantastic by the way like the light blues and the whites look guys as, as someone who's making their own pokemon region if you didn't know i'm making my own region make sure you check out those videos the, de the design elements of these pokemon are, are phenomenal but i think by far for me personally i would probably have to go with either the fire type 
or the grass. It's so tough because I like them both. They both are really good. I'd probably do grass. I'd probably do grass. I probably would do grass, me personally. So let me know what starter you would choose as we switch over to the main Pokédex. All right, so looking into the main Pokédex, we start off with the regional bug type Pokémon. This being a Brenda, which actually looks like the middle stage, but it's the first stage. So this is pretty interesting to see already. Um, it's a super simple, like webbed bug design. I mean, it's 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 simple. Uh, it evolves into Chris Coon, which looks like an egg. This looks like a webbed up egg. Um, I mean, it's, it's cool. I don't really know what to think of it, but the final evolution is what really matters as we get ourselves Mumfluff. And this is interesting. It's like a moth, but it's super fluffy like a sheep. Um, I don't know how I feel about it because the, the wings look like eggs. I'm a little thrown off. It throws me off a little bit, but the typing is really good. Bug and Fairy, fantastic typing. I don't know if we have any other bug fairy types besides like the Rabombi line. So I think that's really cool to add it in. And that's what the shiny looks like. I, I like the shiny, I like the shiny a lot. It looks really cool. Then we have our regional bird type. That one looks like it's called, it's called Bibabeak. Bibabeak, and it's it's cute. It's got the, uh, I don't really know what these are called, like the dot on the forehead. That's pretty cool. Uh, yes, Bibabeak, the naive Pokemon. I love the yellow, reminds me of Omi from Shaolin Showdown. That's exactly what I got as soon as I saw it. It evolves into a high crane. I, I'm guessing that's what that says right there, right? Um, and again, you can see the Chinese design elements being put into it. The braid, like the hats and everything, and the crane, right? You know, crane fighting as a fighting style being a normal flying type. And it looks incredible. Again, the shiny, beautiful. These shinies are all incredible. And then we have, ooh, our crane mystic flying. Again, this mystic typing, is something to mess with so we have our crane and our crane again looks incredible i really like the design of this pokemon i see it being semi-fast definitely a physical attacker um, i'm surprised it's not a fighting type though i thought this is another pokemon that'd be perfect for the fighting typing so uh as we continue we have woofer the regional rodent dog whatever you want to say i did a personal dog myself so this is pretty cool to see as we have woofer on the team it looks incredible it looks really good. It's it's a super fluffy dog. You cannot be upset with that as it evolves into Groom Mutt. Um, very big change. <laughs> very big change. Uh, I wish this was a normal fairy type, like definitely playing into that typing. This would have been awesome to see, but it's totally fine. But I think a normal fairy type would have been awesome. And then we have another bug Pokemon, Rokashet. And this looks cool. Um, a little uh, grasshopper Pokemon, right? If I'm correct, hopefully that's a grasshopper. Uh, grasshoppers, I believe, are also very um, inspiring in Chinese culture. I don't know 100%. I'm not really caught up on my Chinese culture. I would love to be. Like, if you guys have some information I can grab, let me know. But Ruckashet looks super cute as it evolves into Hoplot. And this looks amazing. This looks dope. Bug flying, incredible. I like it. I can see it jumping super high. Yeah, yeah, that's the wave. That's the wave right there. That's dope. And then next up we have Shoe Tip. Okay, little bamboo shoe, a little bamboo shoe. I mean, you gotta have the bamboo. You gotta have the bamboo. It's like one of our regional grass type Pokemon. Whoa, whoa, what is this little bandit? This looks dope, grass and dark. I like the timing, which we haven't seen in a while, if I'm correct, just, just I think it's what, Cacturn? I don't know, I don't I don't always remember them on the spot. I think it's Cacturn was the last grass and dark type we had, but I could be wrong. And it's actually going to be the stealth Pokemon called Bamzooka. Phenomenal. I love it. Amazing. This is a great Pokemon. I love the design. The shiny is even better. Again, these shinies are all fire. Next up, we have a Calabine. This is a... Yo, this is a this is a funny mod. Okay, Calabine. Calabini Bean. I like this. The Gourd Pokemon. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Again, another Omi vibe is what I get from this. Um, so yeah, man, it's super cute as it actually is going to evolve into, what is this? What is this? A, a grass and mystic type. So again, jumping into the new typing, what is this? Um, oh, Gin Sage. Oh, it's based off ginger. Ginger is a very uh, essential ingredient and I feel like in Chinese and just Asian culture all together. Ginger is good stuff. Then we have uh, Tamoris, normal poison. Hmm. I like that. I like that. Real simple, super cute, right? Tri trigu, wait, trigu, trigui. Why do you look like Turtonator? Why do you look like Turtonator? Are you a pre-evo? 
Yo! So it is a uh, Chigui. Hopefully I'm saying this right, right? Chigui actually evolved into Turtonator. So this Pokemon region is going to have pre-evos. That is awesome. So it evolved to level 32 knowing a dragon type move. That is incredible. I love the pre-evolution. Super cute, super adorable as it should be. Whoa, we get one for Drampa too? Kidra. Fire name. Fire name. Fire looking Mon. I feel like Drampa is a hated dragon. Let me know if you guys hate Drampa. Am I am I bugging? I think Drampa's cool. I just like the typing throws a lot of people off. I guess I could use a boost upgrade as well, but that's super cool. Same thing. Oh, whoa. It's a mystic dragon. Oh, this changes the game. This would be a this would be a fire Pokemon in this region. Oh my goodness, this would be a fire Pokemon in this region. Oh, Forget what I said. Forget what I said. Yeah, okay. Next up, we have Chowger. It looks like a Chow Chow, right? And Chow Chow's a super fluffy dog. It's an electric type, so it has like this sun and the. Yo, okay. Yeah, this is heat. This is fire. The hyperactive Pokemon. Love the shiny. Ooh. Ooh. Thundrock. Electric, dark. Chow Chows are big, fluffy, and they actually look really close to this, too. Yo. This is dope! Yeah, yeah, this is this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. I like I love this. This for one is the typing looks like it should have been, but two, I love the Pokemon, it looks super cool. Next up we have a Lunir, I think that's what it says. Psychic or fairy psychic. Fantastic typing for one. I love the design, moon design. Is there a sun design? Is there a sun design that's like a mystic psychic? That'd be pretty cool. The Moon Rabbit Pokemon. Oh, actually, it evolves um, into Crescere. Hopefully, I think that's what that says, right? Um, I like it. It's, it's a simple evolution, still sitting like on that crescent moon. Yeah, I like it a lot. It looks really good. Whoa, whoa, did not expect you. I did not expect you. I thought it was going to be a two stage. This is okay. This is awesome. What is, what's the name of this? Arch Hair? Arch Hair? Arch Hair. Arch, okay, okay, yeah, ooh, sniper for the ability too, I like this, I like this a lot, that's actually really dope, whoa, there's two different forms, Fa fairy mystic, I was close, I was close, so there is another form, so it's a split evo, it's a split evo, so you can get arch, uh, arch hair, or you can get selene air, that is incredible, a nice selena pokemon, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of perfect, it fits in the name, um, yeah, I mean, fairy mystic, that's a baller typing, that's a baller typing right there, then we have ourselves a love ducky, love a ducky, um, and yeah, it's, it's a duck, and they love, and it's, yeah, um, there's two different forms, there's a black one, there's, whoa, I just realized, this is yin and yang, this is, this is yin and yang, which is a huge part uh, of the Chinese culture, you can see it, right? The, the 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 colorful one has the white, and the other one has the black. That that's good. That's really good, actually. Super creative. Super creative. Love the balance. Uh, Regorge, go steal. Baller typing. Love it. As we go into, okay, wearing more of a traditional, I guess, Chinese attire. I can't really read the name. More more tinsel. Mortizzle, the automation Pokemon? That's interesting. But it's Ghost and Steel. I actually want to make a Ghost Steel type. So that's actually really unique to see. That's actually really cool. Oh, y'all know how I feel about the monkeys. Y'all know how I feel about the monkeys, right? If you guys didn't know, I'm the monkey king. That's what I label myself as. I love the Chimchar. I, I love the Gookie line. I love Pan Simeon. Dope Pokemon. A Rangaroo, pretty cool. I just don't like Pan Sage, Pan Poor, Pan Seer garbage monkeys but gribbon looks top tier fighting type my favorite typing on the team you're on the team you're on the team what do you evolve into i really don't even care oh oh yeah I, you, I wish you were a fighting mystic type though i wish you were a fighting mystic type that's totally cool we have a peace right ape yeah a peace on the team i love the shiny incredible on the team it's easy then we have our pikachu clone being a miriamoto i like it Whoa, 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 Electric bug. Electric bug? I'm thrown off. I'm thrown off. What, what, what is this? I'm confused. That is unique. A Pikachu clone being electric bug? I like it. 
I, li I like this a lot, actually. Okay, the next up we have starts. Ooh, ugh, it's a spider. Wheel it. I just don't like spiders all that much, right? It's a cool Pokemon. Not for me. Dry form. What kind of forms do you have? Ooh, ground fire. Still a spider. That's still terrifying. Kindle form. I like it. Again, still terrifying. Uh, then we have Bye Bye, which is a mystic ghost type. Okay, okay. As it evolves into Zangsi, Zangsi. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it's inspired by, but I like it. Mystic ghost type sounds like a, a fire typing. Um, yeah, this looks really, really good. The next one we have a mystic steel type or a steel mystic type being Caldling as like a colander. I'm guessing is what we're not colander, but like. I forget what they're really called the full name, but that looks pretty cool. I like it. It's a really simple design with like the tribal markings um, and like those kind of uh, Chinese inspired spirals, I guess you can say. Um, ooh, another little monkey. It's another little monkey. And this one's a grass type, grass normal. This being peach, I'm a little peach butt as it has like the little berry in it. <gasps> Fuzzy pan. Oh my goodness. You should be fairy type. You should be fairy type. I love it. 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 I love it so much. It's adorable. Whoa. So a Tamarishi and it looks like it loves peaches. Yo, A plus plus fire Pokemon. You're on the team. Okay. You're on the team. Oh wait, I already have a fire type. I switched my starter to the, the fire type. Okay. I'm switching to the fire horse, right? We're gonna get ourselves that 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 uh, Chowger, all right? The the electric dog Pokemon. We're gonna get ourselves um, the 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 fighting monkey, and then add this monkey to the team. It, it was Mystic too? Oh, it's it's slightly. Whoa, Uni Union. This reminds me of Executor or Execute Executor Ex Execute Execute, right? It's a water Pokemon. It's it's Dumplings. It's the little dumplings. That looks super cool. As it evolves into Galganta. Wait, Goganta? Okay, Galganta. I like that. Galgantin. I'm, I'm so sorry for butchering these names. It's a big dumpling now. It's a huge dumpling. The defense on this Pokemon is going to be crazy. That is pretty cool. I could also see this Pokemon being a normal typing, by the way. Now, next up, we have a Carolyn, and this thing looks amazing. Some kind of armadillo type Pokemon. Fighting ground. This is actually a typing that I want to introduce into my own region. I love it. What's the evolutions look like? We have Cor uh, Corporal. I like the name. I like the name. I like the name. And then we have, whoa, this thing looks super tanky. I could also see this thing being a steel type. This one being uh, Curlinin. Curlinin? Like almost like Colonel. Cur Curlin. I, I, Curlinial, right? Curlinial. Hopefully that's how you say it. My bad, right? My bad. And then we have uh, for, uh, Force Appeal. Force Appeal. Poison Electric. I mean, that's a baller typing, but it looks like a fire type. It looks like a fire type bug. I, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. And it evolves into a Vitragon. This looks like a dragon. I like the fact that he has a lot of typing in here that don't look like what you expect them to be. It adds some diversity to the roster for sure. Whoa! No way. No way we're getting a Halucha evolution? Win 20 consecutive sky battles, right? You're, you're getting this evolution because Halucha is pretty tough by itself. And I will introduce you guys to Hawkeye and this looks incredible. Yeah, 10 out of 10, must recommend. Oh my goodness, yes sir. Hawkeye, Hawkeye? Oh, yeah, incredible. Are we gonna see more like evolu- There's baby Pokemon and evolutions? Come. There's baby Pokemon and evolution? I mean, fire, fire. All right, next up, whoa. Smeargle gets one? It levels up while knowing Sh Shadow Sketch? What? Being a normal and ghost type, Incronine, 
amazing. This right here, incredible. I've seen a lot of Smeagol designs, um, and, and I think, if I'm being honest, by far, this is the best one. This is the best one. Smeagol does play a part into my region too, for a different reason, for a specific character that you'll uh, kind of be introduced to later on. And I was thinking one of the Pokemon he's gonna have is gonna be a normal ghost type. This is just even better inspiration. This is incredible. Yeah, this is Giraffe Rig gets something too. Giraffe Rig is a Pokemon that is just hated, even on the beta, right? So you can level it up with max happiness, knowing a Mystic type move or a Dark type move, and it determines the one that you get. And it looks like if you get yourself the one that knows the Dark type move, you get the hostile mode of, I can't read the name, but it looks incredible. It's definitely more Giraffe Rig inspired, as this one is going, ooh, it's called a tele Telekrin. Telekirin, Telekirin, hostile mode. I like it. So it's gonna be the same Pokemon, Telekirin, but mystic mode. So instead of being a dark, it's a mystic type. I love it. Incredible. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Pseudo Wudo even gets an evolution. Pseudo Wudo even gets an evolution. I guess if I guess if uh Mr. Uh, Mr. Mime can, so can Pseudo Wudo. So it looks like if you level it, level it up near a moss rock against the grass typing, no, it stays a pure rock type. What? It's based off a bonsai tree, if I'm correct, right? So this was called Al Alikin. That is, I thought it would be grass. I thought it'd be grass. Yo, that defense is crazy. I thought it'd be grass though. Okay, okay, I like it. What? Even Chimeco gets one? Chimeco is a forgotten Pokemon. I've never used Chimeco. I probably will never use Chimeco. But if you level it up with holding a Soothe Bell, it looks like we get Harmonial Fire Name. Fire Name. Psychic Mystic Fire. Amazing. Even, are you serious? Even Spinda? So if you level it up with a Kala Bean in your party, Kala Lily Bean, right? Okay, right? Okay. Say less. You get the evolution. Whoa! Welcome to Pan Dizzy. Oh yeah, that's tough. Pan Dizzy, that whoa. I like that. I like that a lot. Yo, I like this a lot. That is incredible. Dude, how many Pokemon get brand new evolutions? So it looks like uh Elysium, is that Elysium or is that Volbeat? Volbeat gets a brand new one being a bug and fighting type called Bulbash. I love it. I love it. This is dope. And I'm guessing Elysium also gets one becoming a bug and fairy. Fantastic. This was called Lu uh, Lusigino. Hopefully I said it right. My bad if I didn't. I love it. Looks great. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, wait, what's the typing though? Mystic. Okay. It's Mystic. You give Eevee a Mystic Orb. Oh my goodness it's a yin and yang eevee so i know the shiny is reverse colors right it has to be um, i don't know if i have it in this pack right here but this is amazing okay this one being called oculion oculion oh my god oculion oh that's tough that's tough an evolution that's a brand new typing and looks like yin and yang it don't get better than that it does not get better than that Oh, that shiny is clean. Oh, that shiny is so clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At 10 out of 10 on the team. Next up, we have a brand new Pokemon called Ruffius, who is actually the Pangurian form, which is interesting. So I'm guessing this is going based off of his other region he's done, which I will be showcasing here on the channel. So make sure, again, you guys hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more regional showcases. You guys want to see them. I got them long time, all the other banger content. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. It evolves into Fanguian. Hopefully that's it right. Fanguian, right? Incredible. Fantastic. Little bat. You can't get mad at that. We have Slagmite. Ooh, I like the name. Poison Rock. Good typing. As it evolves into Stega Titan. I like it. It reminds me a lot of Gigalith, but a lot more aggressive. A lot more aggressive. But the typing is fire. Typing is Poison Rock. Really good typing. Um, next, we have Lumen. Name is great. Name is fantastic. It evolves into Halu or like Halo. Um, so that's, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Whoa, it evolves into Candela being a fire psychic type. Uh, okay, so we go from flying to psychic. I like this. 
yeah I, yeah this is this is this is really cool i think it's a cool pokemon that's kind of like opposite to like um chandelier in a way i think that's pretty dope then we have uh shuriken shuriken okay poison dark type but it's a flying bird that's interesting and then we have aurora sea form water fairy you can't go wrong with the water fairy pokemon right and it evolves into or it has a different form aurora sky form flying fairy okay so you have the water and the flying water and the flying i like it dope next up we have shelmet getting a regional form okay becoming a mystic type as it evolves Ooh, a soul looks dope a soul looks dope being a bug and mystic type i love the typing it looks fantastic Ooh, i like that typing that whoa, whoa, whoa. torkoal ghost type Torkoal as a ghost type? Ghost and Rock, I love the smoke. I love the smoke coming out. Oh, that is nice. That is, that is nice. That's nice. All right, so it looks like, it looks like defeat a wild Gengar in battle. And well, there's Gengar on top. It evolves into Torstelli, Torstedel. What is that? Torstedel? The tombstone pokemon that's crazy ghost surge i like that ability i like that ability for sure then we got gothita which looks like a uh, a psychic fairy i thought it'd be grass though i'm guessing it's based off of like uh uh off, off of geishas right if i'm correct right geishas and then we have Gor uh Goth gotharita okay okay oh gothita looks incredible that is amazing that is that is right that's a that's fantastic i love the design it looks really really good then we have a weasel. Okay. Reminds me of Furret. Reminds me of Furret. But that doesn't. Mask Masquerade? That's tough. That's tough. Pure dark type, but that's tough. This right here reminds me of like the Lucario uh, Zoroark, I guess, equivalent. Fantastic. Uh, ooh, Al Alpra? The, the mask is a bit crazy. The mask is a bit crazy. And it has different forms based off Darmanitan and Gyarados. Uh, I forget the name of that dog Pokemon. Uh, Linoon of all Pokemon. I'm surprised not Obstagoon. Or is it Obstagoon? No, that's Linoon, right? And then Lyperd. This one's a bit weird. It's it's throwing me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Then we have Pandolph. Wait, P Padolphin? Padolphin? Okay. Padolphin. Whoa. It evolves holding... Or trade while a dragon scale and it turns into Dra Draco Dracono? How did a dolphin go into a dragon? I mean, it's really cool design wise, but that doesn't make too much sense. I mean, it's still dope. We have Glazelle. Oh, this is an ice type. Oh, yeah, it's super. I like this. Super simple colors. The sharp diamond type ears, which really goes with ice types. And like the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tough. Ooh, we got split Evo. So either you can evolve it with a uh, what level up from a battle while electric terrain is active, or you evolve from level up while psychic terrain is active. So you get two different ones. We get Chirush, which is an ice electric type baller typing. I want to do an ice electric type so bad. I'm trying to figure out one. I really am. I gotta figure it out some way somehow. Or you can get yourself Sega 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 Sish Sega Scissors. I, Sage of Citrus, right? I, that name is crazy. Ice Psychic Baller, I love it. Ooh, Snow Leo? Snow Leo? Okay, Snow Leo. Falls into Hail Links. I like that. I liked it a lot. And whoa, we get one more evolution. What is that evolution? I gotta figure what the evolution is. Let me tell you right now, the evolution's fire. Whatever it is, that evolution is fire. That is a fire evolution. Next up, we get Squid Boom, which looks like a little snake with like a little boom, like the cartoon boom on the tail. Looks super cool. As we get a crack of boom, and you can see more of that like uh, fire effect going on. Whoa, crack along. Now, this looks like the one they use in the parades, right? You know, I know that the Asian culture, Chinese loves fireworks and things like that. So I can see, like, you know, crack a boom relating back to that fire dragon baller typing. Um, but it looks like those kind of ones they hold up underneath and they dance with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are tough. This is tough. We have Phalanx. 
phalanx and it has like that same kind of um dragon dance uh you know parade thing going on fighting ice type okay okay i like it Ooh, right there right there that's what i'm talking about fighting and fire so you can get two different versions either ice or fire ice or fire or fire and ice um i'd probably go for ice but that's dope that's really dope because you're using this pokemon you're using that pokemon that's crazy maybe that's crazy and then there's dynamite on them yeah yeah that's tough we have time pull okay reminds me of like the buddha statue a little bit right then palpatode oh they're pure steel type and then we have a steel mystic type Ooh, sesmato looks pretty cool i don't like this one as much as the water form but it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool the next up we have ourselves driblet it kind of reminds me of um cramorant in the eyes right am i bugging nope i'm not bugging okay 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 level up on the water slash underwater oh that is so specific okay uh if it faints in battle and is revived starting at level 25 it has a new form what is this T toss prey it becomes instead of a water type it becomes a dark type okay 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 i like it i like it a lot done sparse which is a, a classic pokemon to make a regional form for uh ground dragon i like it a lot and it turns into torquake i did not expect this to turn to this this to that that is interesting but dope but dope for sure i like it a lot then we have chilling this has to be this has to be this has to be the pseudo legendary right here this is right this has to be it dragon mystic yeah it evolves into uh wait go crocro go crocro whatever that's called okay and then shed drongu fire that thing looks mystical as hell it looks mystical as hell okay i get the typing urshifu get something new he get the new fighting joint yes sir that's tough fighting mystic kofu gets a new form as it evolves into urshifu that's incredible dual strike style so you have single strike you have rapid strike and you have dual strike double hit moves will be incredible on that pokemon even sent to steal get something ultra beast are in here grounded mystic okay and even stack attack get something being a pure rock type as it's based off the great wall of china oh big brain big brain how do you catch a pokemon that big that's huge all right so looks like we're stepping into the pokemon liberation front which looks like it's going to be introducing some brand new pokemon for us so we have a reliquin which is a pure flying type that looks amazing reminds me of rapidash or maybe what we should have gotten from rapidash for the galarian form it looks incredible oh so you choose a scroll and you get reliquin peril form so you can either get the pure flying or the one that's also flying and dark okay okay are these legendaries are these legendary pokemon then we get bullgrim who's a steel type i love this by the way that's incredible um if you get the scroll scroll of ignorance it turns still to bullgrim but becomes a dark type okay so i'm guessing all of these are going to have a form where they turn into the dark type right i'm guessing this plays into the story of pokemon dynasty uh, at some point right then we have swinobite fire name fire name and then if you get the scroll of gluttony also becoming a dark typing that thing looks that thing looks ferocious that thing looks intimidating as hell uh, oh my goodness oh um, yeah cool, cool, cool mon king you're a part of the team get on the team this is an amazing pokemon i love it it really has that sun goku vibe to it it's a pure fighting type if you get the scroll of chaos it gets a pull and it becomes a fighting and dark type 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 this is amazing this is amazing then we get uh what is this it's like a chimera statue it's like those statues it's like those lion statues this is called chimera which is a pure mystic type it evolves at level 66 male and female possibly so you either get nymphoroyal nymphoroyal like gar like gargoyle so nymphoroyal right act it, wait active form and guard form okay so you get two different forms so the female will have the active form or you can have 
the guard mode, which just kind of changes the appearance of the Pokemon um, a little bit with the wings, the color, um, and, and, and like the horns. That looks actually really, really cool. And then you have uh, Nympha Royal, the active form. Um, and again, same exact thing, same exact thing, incredible. And then we have a legendary Pokemon being called Shibayama, and that looks incredible. That reminds me of Hoopa and some other Pokemon. The, the pattern on the on the legs throw me off a little bit because it's like a really unique tiger type pattern, but it looks really good. It looks really good. And guys, that is it for the main Pokedex. Now, I still want to show you guys some characters in the fossil Pokemon. So let's show you guys the fossils really quick. Now, as for the fossils, we have two different fossils being the Plastron fossil and the Tusk fossil. Just looking at it, I'd probably choose the, I'll probably choose the Blastron fossil just because it's something different. Uh, so looking at them, we have a tour group, which I'm guessing is going to be that uh, Plastron fossil and evolves into or or what does it say? Orshleon? 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 I, look, these names, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, ability being divination. OK, it looks it looks cool. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, then you have yourself infantry. I love the name. Super dope. F rock and fighting type as evolves into Arma Arma Hout. Arma, Arma Hout, okay. I like a more military war mount Pokemon, uh, you know, pro prophetic Pokemon. Um, definitely, definitely I will say the Plastron Fossil is not as nice as the Infantry Fossil, but let me know which Fossil you picked up in your adventure. Now, next up, we're going to have ourselves the protagonist characters of this adventure. I love the male character. I love the fact of the hair being this way with the with the headband going on. The female character looks really, really cool, too, but really simple. I wish it was spiced up a little bit. wish it was spiced up a little bit, but looks really good overall. Next up, looks like we have, I'm guessing, the rival character based off what I was told, right? And it looks like just a, a, a farmland boy, someone who he seems really out of place, Re really out of place. Then we have Ri Ryu, Ru, Sinna, who is his normal type Pokemon. We have Lois, Vetch, who is a psychic type Pokemon. I'm guessing this is the grass type trainer, right? We have Anissa, I'm guessing he uses ghost type Pokemon. Woople, who uses ground type Pokemon. Okay, water type Pokemon. That's oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. We have Ginkgo. Who is a steel type Pokemon? I like it, Professor. Okay, okay. And whoa, Goji looks dope. Goji looks super dope. I like him, and he is his fighting type Pokemon. That team looks ferocious. Team looks ferocious. And then we have Mai. Ooh, I like Mai. I like Mai. We have Camille. Okay, I like Camille. And Samantha. Okay, like you know what I'm Okay. I'm guessing Ice, Fire dragon or fighting or something and then we have master peach does he know master mustard does he know mustard does master peach know master mustard oh my goodness man and that's actually gonna wrap it up for all the characters in this region now guys that's actually gonna wrap it up for the entire region i have to give a huge shout out to an artist astray make sure you guys go and check him out over on instagram give him a follow and let him know that infamous trainer sent you guys because he's making tons of new regions like a brand new east Kalos and another region i'll be showing off here on my channel that being said guys don't forget to leave a like on the video share the video out and make sure you guys check out my fan made region the neos region as i'm dropping more videos on that very soon leave a like and i'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching and also let me know your full pokemon team for pokemon dynasty anyways i'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching this has been your boy infamous trainer and bye